All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start this video by giving our praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom uh, to the Lord's elect, uh, starting beginning with the 144,000. This is Aratiza from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with a with a quick video. All right, I'd like to bring out uh, maybe. Uh, one or two precepts or scriptures <clears throat> sitting around the topic of um, the elect, how only the elect are going to understand these scriptures, man. All right. The breakdowns, the understanding of the scriptures, um, you know, hearing the word of the Lord. All right. Only the elect, the chosen of Yahweh, which only consists of Israelites, by the way. Which the Israelites consist of you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans Are going to understand this truth, alright You other nations, you can't get it, alright You're not allowed, you're not included in anything Pertaining to salvation or the promises, alright You can't wiggle in there or find some type of loophole Alright, to get in there You know, and what basically helped inspire this video <clears throat> I was watching Apostle Ramlab's uh, uh, or the live stream he did a couple of days ago, but I was watching it last night, and he was going over the book of Esther, the eighth chapter and the seventeenth verse. He was explaining it on how you had, you know, certain heathens back during that time that had, uh, you know, so called, uh, they so called converted over to being Jews, or they they became Jews. And whatnot, but the reason why they did that was out of fear. All right, when you read the story in Esther, you read the whole chapter, Esther chapter eight. All right, there was a decree that went out, and how um, Haman, who came against the Jews, Haman and his sons, they got hung in the gallows, they got put to death. So the other heathens, they feared that they would suffer the same fate as Haman. So therefore. They started to act like and call themselves Jews to basically have some type of protection. It wasn't because they uh, genuinely were interested in our ways. They loved how we were as a people and they wanted to become Jews because of that. No, it's because they, they didn't want to die. So that doesn't correlate with the converts in Acts, the second chapter, where it says Jews and proselytes and all of that. Which product, the word proselytes is another word for convert. The converts in the book of Acts are Israelites who were once called Gentiles, right? Living under the Greek customs, they were Hellenized, following other doctrines or other beliefs, but they were converted back to their, 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 their uh, uh, you know, their true origin, which is to be a Hebrew Israelite and worship the Heavenly Father. So, Pastor Ramla was explaining that beautifully. Of course, you had other apostles and elders that was going that did videos on it as well. On it as well, but it's going to show you that that understanding is only is only uh, given to the Israelites, and uh, also <laughs> uh, a alternative topic I had for this video was uh, you Christians are no match for the Israelites. You just you just don't got it, man. Every now and then you pop up with a with a new scripture. That you think you got us on and you're going to try to use to and every time we always, you know, knock you back down to reality because you just don't got it. We got to constantly go back over and explain these scriptures that you think you you found some type of loophole to salvation, but it ain't going to work and it never works, man. So I just want to get a get a scripture or two on that. All right. Uh, to keep it real short and brief. And uh, I'm start here, start here with the old old faithful, right? <laughs> um, Matthew 13th chapter, and beginning at the 10th verse, right? Matthew, 10, uh, excuse me, 13 to 10. It says, "And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables?" He answered, verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right. So when the Lord was teaching, 
Okay, he would talk to, and by the way, he was talking to other Israelites, by the way, he, when, when the Lord preached, wasn't preaching to all nations. Okay, when he was talking to other, other Israelites, he would talk in riddles and parables because he wanted, he, he, he was purposely going over their head because he didn't want them to get it. But the others, all right, he said, what? Unto you is to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, his, um, the believers and his, and his other disciples. <laughs> You know, when he got to them, he spoke plainly. He broke it down. He explained what he was going into. But the others, it, he he didn't want them to get it because they weren't of the elect. All right. Yahweh Shah knew who his elect were. All right. What did he say? Um, that's another precept. Um, St. John 10. He said, my, my sheep hear my voice. He says, and I, and I, and I, and I know, and I know them. See, so Yahweh Shah knows who, knows who, knows who the elect is. So he would talk plainly to them to where they can get it. And they 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 and they would get it, because they were already chosen to get it. So you other people, man, we gotta jump through loops, uh, uh jump through hoops and and, and do this and, and do and, and you and you still can't get it. All right? But we speak plainly and break it down simple to the simplest fragments. We bring out this book, that book, this evidence. We go into these these Greek and Hebrew words, and you still can't get it. All right? Why? Because it's not given unto you. So we're not gonna waste time on that. We just gonna we're gonna deal with those who could who could who could pick it up fast, man. Because more than likely that's somebody who the most high is dealing with. See? And you Christians this is not this is not on our level. All right. When it comes to the scripture and it, and, it, and it shows itself time and time again. All right. Every every year almost. I have often, it's, it's a, as I said, it's a scripture that y'all bring out. All right. So now it's um, Esther 8 and 17. Well, it's not even talking about that. You can't use that. See, but <laughs> it just shows who has the truth and who don't, man. You, you Christians just don't have it. Okay, and more people are leaving Christianity. More people are waking up. More people are finding out about the Israelites, and they're following our teachings. Okay, because we go deep into the scriptures and give the real understanding, and we teach the prophecies. Right. So. So yeah, uh, let's 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 go from there. Let's get one more. I think it just came to mind. Uh, Isaiah twenty nine. And uh, getting down to verse, let's see. Yeah. Isaiah 29 and 10. All right, yeah, let's just start there. Isaiah 29 verse 10. For the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes, your prophets and your rulers, and uh, excuse me, the seers hath he covered. Right, the Lord blinded you, man. The reason why you can't see these, see certain things, why you can't understand the breakdowns, you can't get why uh, the Israelites were, were also called Gentiles, and that's who uh, the apostles, like Apostle Paul and so forth, you can't understand that's who they was trying to reach and get to. It's because the Lord put that spirit of deep sleep on deep sleep on you and close your eyes. All right. And it says verse verse 11, it says in a vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. See that the Bible is sealed to you people, even though you physically could open it and flip through the pages and read and research and get into that. But it's, it's sealed because you, you don't you can't you can't get the breakdown. This is which men delivered to one that that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. See that? So, yeah, you got somebody who can who can actually who could who could physically read. But you don't you can't understand. You can't get the true understanding. That's why the scripture says in Revelations one and three. Uh, Blessed is he that readeth. And that here, if the words of this prophecy, all right, in Revelations 1, verse 3, I think when you go into the Greek word for that word, read, 
or readeth. We read down a couple definitions. I think it, it goes into uh, basically to be able to comprehend. So you have to have reading comprehension, which that which that comes from uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See that? So everybody don't can't comprehend these words, man. And then it goes on in verse 12. It says, And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. See that? And that's another thing, too. A lot of you just can't damn read, man. It be things that be in plain English, plain, simple, clear English. It's clearly saying or stating what we're teaching, but you just, you, but you, <laughs> man, but you still can't get it. That's, that's, that's your how about Shemmy Al Shah? He poured that spirit of deep sleep on you. You see, somebody of the elect is going to get this truth without no real struggle like that. Yeah, you're going to have to search things out for your own, on, on your own. You're going to have to study. But the spirit will work with you. All right, what is that? What a what a um what the Lord said um. I will I will come to him. I will I will I will uh. Knock at the door. Roughly paraphrasing, the door represents your mind, which again it, it's, it's all set up anyway. It all it all goes back to predestination. Those who are foreordained to receive or to receive salvation, you're you're gonna receive this truth. All right, either way, it's already set up. Matter of fact, let me uh actually end with that. That's um Sirach 20, oh man, what is that at? Is that a uh, Sirach 27 and 9? Let me uh let me end with that. By the truth show, the truth show, the truth show return. Yep. Uh Sirach Ecclesiastes 27 and 9. It says the birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. All right, this is also a, a reincarnation scripture. All right, so if you had this, if you have this truth now, or those of us that had it have this truth currently, more than likely we had it in the past, because the truth always returns to them that practice in her. Right, it, it's like it, it like it's like it. The spirit knows us, so it's going to continue to come back to us in these different, um, you know, uh, life, uh, uh, lives we live on the earth. So I read again, Sirach 27 and 9, the birds will resort to, unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. And everybody don't practice in this truth, so that's why it's not given to them. And they can't get it. They follow up the lies, follow up these different religions, Christianity. Okay, which many of us were Christians at first. All right. But then what? The truth returned to us at, at some point in our walk in life. And we got it. See, but to the others, they stay still trapped in that, uh, uh <laughs> trapped in that bubble because the most I got them there. So, um, so yeah, that's just just a few thoughts, a few scriptures I want to put out there concerning that. All right, uh, Esther chapter eight and seventeen, I believe, is not a loophole <laughs> for you Christians to 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 try to wiggle in there and get all nations saved. It's, it don't, it ain't what it's talking about, man. You can't use that. In Acts the second chapter, if I'm not mistaken, the proselytes are Israelites, man. But again, only the elect is gonna had a full understanding and, and understand the difference and understand what's going on, man. It's all about the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, which are only only consist of Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. So I'm a, I'm gonna leave it off there, all right? Just a quick, quick impromptu type of video. All right, like how Apostle Rakha say. Uh it's a couple of scriptures to put out there, all right. Low willing you was edified. Give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Rachakwadash, and Lord willing to the next video. I'm going to say Shalom.